hi guys and welcome back to my kitchen it's your girl a year again if you are seeing this face for the first time my name is a innocent you can also call me a he and you're welcome to every day with a he so guys on today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how i prepare my nigerian fried rice and it is going to be a very detailed one so you have to sit down relax and watch this video to the end please guys don't forget to subscribe before leaving please consider subscribing and for my old subscribers thank you guys so much for your support i really appreciate you all don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and also comment in the comment section what you think about my video and if you have a particular video for me to make for you please guys always comment and always like those are the things that give me encouragement like you view my videos you like my videos and also comment about my video if you don't like a particular video i make you also comment in the comment section want to know how i prepare this fried rice you have to watch this video to the end so guys let's start cooking I have some turkey. I've already washed it properly. So I'm going to be boiling this turkey and be putting it inside the pot. And I also have liver. I also have liver here. You can see. So I'm just going to place them inside the pot right now. So for my, I will also be adding the liver to it. So I will be leaving the list of the ingredients in the description box so you can go there and see it for yourself. This name powder. I'm just going to pour it in. And also I got time, some dry time. I've got some garlic here, so I'm just going to peel this garlic and add it to it. Oops, just going to chop them into the pot. I'll be adding some ginger powder to it. And I have roasted paprika, so I'll just add some roasted paprika to it. And I've got some dried onion, so I'll just add a little as well. And my stock cubes. Onion. So I will just have to chop this onion into the pot. So I just miss all of the ingredients to get that so i will have to cover the pot right now i don't have to add any water yet i i will, ju I will just allow my meat stock to get into the meat before adding before adding um water to it so i'll just have to cover it right now and allow it to cook so I'm going to check on it later to see if the water has dried up so I can add more water to it. So yeah, I have my chicken breast. So I'm just going to dice them into smaller pieces. So 
So after dicing them into smaller piece, I will have to transfer it into this bowl. So for the seasoning of it, I'm using my seasoning powder. Just have to pour it in. And some roasted paprika, some garlic powder, and some onion powder. And then I will go with my stock cube. So I'm just going to mix them together. Start mixing them together. This is how it looks. So I'm just going to marinate it for some minutes before I fry it. I'll just have to marinate it now. So guys, we have to check up on the meat right now and you can see the water came up from it so I will just have to stir it so after stirring I will just add some water to eat because I will be needing the meat broth for my fried rice. So let me add a little more. So I will just have to cover it until it is soft and then I will take it off. So right now I have to check up on the meat and this is how it's looking right now. Wow. So I will just have to separate the meat from the broth. So this is the liver. I will just have to chop them into smaller pieces before frying it. So the oil is hot now. I will have to transfer the liver into the oil. I'll be frying the liver first. And this oil, I've used it before to fry meat. So I'm using it again. So the liver is ready now. Just pack it off. We have to go with the turkey right now and fry the turkey. Rice I'm going to be using. I will have to wash this rice properly to remove all this.
so guys in this pot i already have oil and onion inside the pot already sorry the camera could not capture that part so i'm adding garlic paste to it right now so i'm just going to stir it together properly So after stirring, I will just add in the rice that is properly washed. I'm just going to stir it together. So right now, I'm frying the rice, you can see. Adding curry powder to it right now. And I have to really stir the rice properly so it won't get burned. I'm just going to stir it very well. So I just fried the rice for like 6 minutes and right now I'm just going to filter the uh, meat broth into the rice. So I'm adding salt to the rice. I'm not going to add any stock cube because I already seasoned my meat broth so well. So there will be no need for me to add, but you can as well taste yours if it's to your own taste. So I'm just going to cover it to cook until it's soft. Vegetable oil. So this is the chicken breast I've been marinating so I will just have to open it and fry it right now. I will just allow the oil to heat up a little. So after frying, I will have to pack it off right now. So right now, this is the oil I use when frying the chicken breast. I just need to add a little oil to it so I can fry the prawns with the same oil. And guys, I didn't peel the prawns because I just wanted it this way. That was why I didn't peel it. So you can peel yours as well. So it's left to you to leave yours like this or to peel it. But me, I prefer mine like this today. So I'm just going to fry it and make sure you are not frying it for more than 5 minutes, guys.
so guys in here I have my green beans my long beans carrots onion sweet corn red bell pepper and green bell pepper so fried rice is not complete without this ingredient so these are the ingredients I'm going to be frying next so I have dry pot on the fire I just have to go in with some vegetable oil sorry about this part guys i don't know what was happening to my camera so i already seasoned it and i didn't know my camera wasn't recording it so i seasoned it with seasoning cubes and i seasoned it with salt as well and curry powder so sorry about that and i'm um, also going to add the fried liver and the fried chicken breast to it so i'm just going to add the rice into it right now So after adding the rice, I'm just going to stir everything together. I will just add the prawns to the rice. Okay, you guys, you can see, wow. So guys, that will be all to this video. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and thank you for watching. See you guys on my next video. Bye.